The absolute best place to retire in all of the United States is right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And it's not just me saying it. U.S. News and World Report just recently ranked Lancaster County as the number one place to retire in all of the United States. And in this video, I'm going to take a deep dive into that latest report, that new information that just came out, and let you know what's going on here in our local market right in Lancaster County. And that's coming up in this video. Hi there, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Matt Moore with The Moore Group, a real estate team based right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And uh, in this video, we are going to be taking that deep dive into the information from that latest report, ranking Lancaster County as the number one place to retire in the United States. In fact, it's not the first time Lancaster has been ranked number one. In fact, two years ago, it was ranked in the number one spot. Last year, it remained in the top five and the only location outside of Florida that was in that top five. And then, of course, this year, back up to the number one spot. And I'm going to talk a lot more about why Lancaster is the best place to retire in the country. But before I dive into that information, I just want to say this quickly. We are helping people all the time who are moving to and relocating within Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And if you're watching this video, there's a decent chance that you're in the research phase of retirement and you're trying to figure out where the best place to be is. Well, if you're thinking about Lancaster as a possibility, we would love to get in contact with you. We love helping people coming in from out of state or within our borders here in Pennsylvania. And if that's you, we'd love to talk to you too. So I'm going to put our information up here quickly on the screen and please reach out to us. You can email, you can call the phone number, you can even text the phone number as well. And either myself or someone from our team will be there to respond to you in a quick manner and of course answer any questions that you might have. And of course, I'll put more information about our team and how you can reach us and learn more about what we have to offer at the end of this video, but that's not why you're here. You wanna know why Lancaster is the best place to retire. If you're a subscriber of this YouTube channel, well, you already know that I've done a video about what makes Lancaster such a great place to retire. In fact, it's one of the most popular videos on this entire channel. And so this new video is to basically update that and talk about where we stand right now, that latest report coming in from US News, where the breakdown came in, and of course, what makes Lancaster such a great place to retire. So basically every year, US News and World Report comes out with their top five or their top 10 list of places to retire, places to live, I mean, so on and so forth. You can actually go down all the way down to the top hundreds on different types of lists that they come out with. And Lancaster consistently ranks one of the top places to retire, and that comes from a multitude of different factors. Those rankings include desirability, value, healthcare, quality of life, the job market, so on and so forth. But there's really more factors that are involved with it, and it breaks down into even further elements from there. And it's really interesting to talk to people who are not super familiar with Lancaster at all, really have never been here, maybe a couple of times at most, or not even been here at all, for them to learn that Lancaster's not just Amish farmland, which is what many people that have never been here really think that Lancaster's all about. Certainly that's a part of it, and there are gorgeous draw-dropping scenic vistas everywhere with the farmland that is in some of the surrounding areas. But of course, we've got a vibrant and lively city that was just ranked the best small city in America. Outside of the city, you've got an eclectic mix of suburbs and rural areas, and really that stretches for the entire county as you go further out from the downtown center. And so the result of this is you get a very diverse and eclectic mix of things that you can do, things that you can see, and it's a unique place that's outside of the big cities along the East Coast, but close enough that they can become accessible, that has all the modern amenities and conveniences that you would want, but at the same time, the value is there from a home value perspective and a cost of living perspective, and it makes things very desirable for a lot of people to make their way to the Lancaster area. In fact, the two biggest reasons that Lancaster popped back to the number one spot has to do with A, the healthcare in this area, which consistently ranks in the top four in terms of the access to healthcare and how quickly you can get care that you need. But the other factor is the value side of things, the cost of living side of things, where of course right now as a recording of this video, inflation is definitely something that everybody's dealing with. And we're also in a shifting real estate market too. But at the same time, 
We have not here in Lancaster seen the ballooning of the home values as some other areas have seen across the country over the last couple of years. Things have gone steadily up and impressively so, 15 to 20% year over year, but that's less than some of these other metro markets or summer areas across the country, which were 30, 40, even 50% year over year, really a balloon effect. So that steady growth, that steady demand has led to really less of a chance where we're going to see a downturn in our real estate market. So that's a good thing for you if you're thinking about investing in a home here in the Lancaster area. But the other side of it too is that it's more accessible. The cost of living here is lower overall when it comes to real estate, which is my specialty. The median sale price of a home here, that's the middle number, uh, is right around the 300,000 mark. And so what that means is that you can get more home for your buck, especially if you're coming from more high cost of living areas. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. I want to ask you one thing and it's a favor. Can you subscribe to this channel? Please do. We'd love to see you as part of this channel, following along with all of this content that's going to be coming still to come about Lancaster. So you have to hit that subscribe button, then hit the alarm bell so you get alerted when new videos are produced. And of course, if you want a little shortcut for it, if you're on a desktop, Look right down in here, there's a little arrow and that arrow is going to point you right to the button. You can click that and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the journey. And of course, Pennsylvania is a very retirement friendly state in general. There is no taxes on your retirement income here in the state of Pennsylvania, one of the few states that actually does that here in the United States. And it also has a 6% flat sales tax, so a little bit advantageous there too. So just simply from the tax perspective alone, you get a retirement friendly state, and then you have the localities within that state that allow you to really be able to enjoy living here. So we've got great healthcare here in the Lancaster area between the Penn Medicine System and the Penn State Hershey health system that is going to be definitely growing within the Lancaster County area in the coming years. Brand new hospital they just opened up in the Landisville area just outside of Lancaster. So again, we've got a lot of access to premier world-class healthcare here in the Lancaster area and also accessible price points from a cost of living perspective and a real estate side of things too. But the US News and World Report goes on to say that Lancaster's not only downtown district with Lancaster City, but also the surrounding areas offers a diverse option and array of different restaurants, of things to do. It is a culturally diverse area, especially in the Lancaster City, where arts and theater are very prevalent. There are First Friday activities every First Friday of every month, where basically the entire downtown pours out into the streets and it's a big party. There's a lots of people around. The shops move their uh, items out into the streets. There's food vendors. There's all sorts of awesome things going on, live music. And it just makes for an incredibly vibrant scene, especially during the warmer months where uh, being outside is actually pleasant to do so. And of course the food scene here is second to none, so much so that even the New York Times has posted an article about Lancaster and how great it is and how just wonderful the restaurant scene is here thanks to that cultural diversity. We've got restaurants that range anywhere from outdoor dining to indoor to old schools that have been converted over to old timey arcades with bowling alleys. I mean, there are a huge assortment of different restaurants. Really, you can get whatever you want from different countries all across the world. Our favorite restaurant in downtown Lancaster is The Exchange, which is a rooftop bar and restaurant that's attached to the Marriott Hotel right in downtown, right next to Penn Square. And it's a great place, not only for, of course, the views, but the food is phenomenal. Try the pizza. If you like spicy pizza, they've got a jalapeno one. You really won't be disappointed with it. It is so, so good. And when the weather is nice, you can sit out on that rooftop deck and get the beautiful views of Lancaster City. And that's a great segue to my next point, which is that Lancaster gets all four seasons. You get the summers, you get the winters, you get the snow, you get the fall colors, you get the beautiful spring with all of the blooming plants you truly get a taste of all four seasons as opposed to say, you know, somewhere like Florida, which is another uh, retirement hotspot, of course, where the seasons tend to be kind of consistent from month to month to month. And it just gets brutally hot in the summer, of course, worrying about hurricanes and, and natural disasters, things like that. So yes, Lancaster is becoming a big draw from a retirement perspective from a multitude of different reasons. The weather being one, the cost of living, the access to the big cities on the I-95 corridor, and of course, access to transportation too. There's a, n a number of major airport hubs within a short drive away and you can get to where you need to go across the country without too much trouble. If you're into outdoor recreation too and you're in your retirement years, 
Well, Lancaster is a great place for you as well. You're going to have a lot of access to incredible trails, including the rail trail systems, which are very flat, easy to walk and bike trails that are scattered throughout Lancaster County. In fact, one of those rail trails recently opened up and connected two different rail trails, making them into one right along the Susquehanna River called the Enola Low Grade Trail. And uh, this trailhead is actually, it's beautiful. You sit right along the Susquehanna River and it's a multi-mile stretch that winds all the way down to the Safe Harbor Dam in the southern end of Lancaster County. Easy to access, great parking there too. But what recently changed is they now have a truss bridge for pedestrians that was recently completed and people can walk and bike all the way across that truss bridge and in the middle there's a couple of glass panels you can look straight down onto the big gulch below but the big thing is is that it connects the other side of the Enola low grade trail making for over 30 miles of continuous low grade rail trail. Seeing bald eagles on this trail is extremely common. It's one of the higher concentrations of bald eagles of anywhere in the country. You see them constantly. There's waterfalls, there's the Susquehanna River. Yeah, it really just doesn't get any more breathtaking than the Enola Low Grade Trail. So there's a lot of different trails like that scattered throughout the county. So recreation is awesome. If you like to golf, there's a number of great golf courses too here in Lancaster County. I am a golfer myself, so reach out to me and ask and I will be happy to provide my recommendations for you. And if you're interested in learning more about the 55 plus communities that are scattered throughout Lancaster, there are a number of them. Please get in contact with us too. We'd be happy to talk to you about what options are available. There are a couple that are still in the new construction phase. So you may be able to get in and purchase a brand new construction home in one of these active lifestyle 55 plus communities with clubhouses, pools, uh, lots of activities that are going on throughout the year, very social type of a neighborhood. Or if you don't wanna be social, uh, you don't have to do those things in of course those neighborhoods but of course it is an option for you. Now, if you're thinking not of a 55 plus community and you're open to whatever, of course, that's what we're also here for as well. Myself and my team, we are actively helping people all the time who are retiring here to the Lancaster area. We understand the types of things that people are looking for when it comes to a place to retire and we're here to answer your questions if you have them. Now, ultimately, the best way to figure out what Lancaster is all about is to, well, get here and visit and see with your own eyes what Lancaster has to offer. And that's my open invite for you is to come on out, come make a trip to Lancaster, reach out to me. I can recommend a couple of great places that you can stay while you're here, whether you're looking for more of a downtown flair, or figure out what the city's like, or you want to be outside of downtown there are some great places to stay and I'm happy to make those recommendations for you. Boots on the ground, get out and check out what these different towns in Lancaster County are all about. See what it's like to actually be here. And I can tell you most of the time people end up falling in love when they get here to the Lancaster area and this is the place they determine they want to be. We'd love to have you here in the Lancaster area, so please reach out to us right here. I'll put the information once again up on the screen. Again, my name is Matt Moore with The Moore Group. I run a real estate team based right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We know this area, we live in this area, we love this area, and we would love to talk to you as well. I also invite you to check out our website, themoregrouplancaster.com, and you can see what we're all about, learn about our story, see who we are, and how we can help you along the way. Of course, our team is standing by ready to help you at any point or even just to answer questions. That's really what we're all about is just helping people. So if you do have questions, you don't want to make any commitments, that's totally fine. Reach out to us anyway. We can get uh, the questions answered for you and of course, help guide you on this journey if you are in that research phase for retirement. Oh, one last thing, please, if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm making content about Lancaster all the time and I want you to see more of that content. I want you to see more of these videos. The only way you can do that is hit that subscribe button and also like this video, hit the thumbs up on this video and helps the algorithm know that this video is something that people are really liking. Also love to see you comment too. Let me know where you're watching this from. I would be thrilled. I would reply back to you, I promise. And uh, of course, we'll see how many people are coming from different parts of the world. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you're in that research phase for retirement, you are doing the right thing, which is researching. You're finding out about these different areas. And I invite you to check out Lancaster, what it has to offer. We'll be that resource for you when you're ready to reach out. Do it anytime. Call, text, email, whatever works best, and we'll be on standby. Thanks again, and have a good day.